Hey guys, this is our first weekly vlog of 2019, and it's actually still 2018 today. It's New Year's Eve, yep. so we're going to take you home with us from Disney, and then basically we're off tomorrow too for New Year's Eve. So Time we go home. This will be the first one. But let's take one last view of that view outside. One last view of that view. How's that? It's early. It's early, people. We had to get up at four to catch our flight this morning. Beautiful view. Spaceship Earth's right over there in the middle. It's interesting they leave those illumination lasers on all night. I didn't know they did that. It was a great view. We will talk about um, the, the pros and cons of this room at some point um, in another video, but uh, the view you can't beat. One last look at this gorgeous lobby. Smells good. Beautiful. And out we go. So I mentioned this in a tip video, but even if you're not using Magical Express, you can actually check your luggage and they take it to the airport for you, and for anyone. And so that's what we're gonna do now. So the airline check-in is at different locations depending on your resort. Sometimes it's at the front like it is here at the boardwalk. Sometimes it's at the back at Pop Century. Uh, you just have to ask at the front desk if you don't see it, but super convenient. Nice look back towards the boardwalk. You can even see the nice Christmas decorations in the front. Bye boardwalk. I know we said we usually take the toll road, but since we're leaving so early this morning, there's no point because there's no traffic. So we're jumping on I-4. So here's where you return the rental car. And they do have a return at both terminals, right? Yeah, that's nice. This is one reason for like early flights. It's already crowded, but it's only gonna get worse. This would be our only character meet and greet of this entire trip. Yeah. It's the way you seem kind of speechless. Yeah, she also looks has this like kind of frightened look on her face. Beautiful tree. Bye, MCO. We'll see you soon. When you see Starbucks lines like this, it makes me so happy that we don't drink coffee. We are actually going to go to this cask and larder and eat breakfast this morning over here. We've gotten stuff from their grab and go, and if you're gluten free, they usually have like a protein box over here, just a tip. And they also have some other gluten-free snacks. We're actually gonna eat in the sit-down restaurant this morning because we have extra time. All right, we've got a nice table. Hi, Brian. We've never eaten here before, but they do have a gluten-free menu. Um, sorry, it's not like, wanting to focus in this light. There we go. Lots of options for breakfast, and they also have a lunch or lunch and dinner. I'm not sure which menu as well that's gluten-free. I got a gluten-free omelet with gluten-free bread. Brian got a side of potatoes. Those are not gluten-free, by the way. And he also got a veggie omelet that's with regular gluten-filled bread. <laughs> so a little trip recap. We are gonna do a um, tips video, so we're not gonna talk about that part. Um, we did that last time and people thought it was helpful, so we'll do that again, because we once again learned a few things. Um, nothing earth shattering, but um, I would say this was a super fun trip. I, for me, the crowds were not that big of a deal. Like there were two times, actually we just went in the dark. There were two times that um, I thought it felt super crowded. Christmas day at Magic Kingdom, that was crazy. And we knew it would be, we just wanted to see it for ourselves. And then Animal Kingdom that one morning, that was just weird. Yeah. It was Saturday morning, so we think maybe yeah, it, was it was a combination of locals with all the Christmas week crowds. That was crazy. Um, other than that, I felt like the crowds, I think he felt like it was more crowded. I felt like it was less crowded than 2016 Christmas week. Um, it's probably all relative, but I didn't think it was too bad. And he got out with no injuries, um, which is unlike 2016. He got stepped on a couple of times. Yeah, some but stroller mishaps. He did have stroller mishaps, but walked away mostly unscathed. Um, but yeah, I think it was a good trip. Good one in the books. I think you had fun too, right? Yeah, it was fun. Good time. Sorry you can't see Brian, he's backlit, so he goes into the dark every time I turn the camera. Um, I think for us, I know we said this last time, but I think this is the last time we're gonna do a, <laughs> this a Christmas is the last time. week trip, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's not that it's so bad. It's it's not to me. They make way too big of unless you're into rides It's not a good week to go ride rides But if you have fun at Disney whether you're riding or not, which is us I don't think it's that big of a deal like I, I don't know It doesn't bother me that much the reason I don't think we'll do it is I just don't like being away from family on the holidays 
And also, I don't like this week being hectic. I kind of rather have a relaxing week, like go to the beach or something like that instead of busy, busy, busy. Um, but it was fun. It was a good time. And so we do have Disney trips coming up this year, and so we're looking forward to those. And in the meantime, we may be doing some other trips. We're not sure yet. We'll find out. We are back home and I had a wonderful trip, but I'm actually really glad to be home. We had some super noisy neighbors this trip within an adjoining room. They weren't they weren't our friends that we were joining to, it was just strangers that were unbelievably loud. So neither of us slept much this trip. And yes, we did complain. I know somebody, somebody will always leave a comment and say, didn't you complain? Yes, we did. And apparently Disney does call and tell them to be quiet because they would get quiet after that. But then the next night they would just start up again. And it sounded like they had a hundred people in that unit. <laughs> like it was just so many people. They weren't being like mean or anything. Like it didn't sound like they were shouting at each other, but they were loud. Like it seemed like they yelled at each other to communicate. Kids were screaming constantly. It sounded like they were doing parquet off the walls. I mean, it was just crazy. Uh, I mean, last night, really late, and we had to get up at four this morning, one of the kids was running around screaming at the top of his lungs, best day ever, over and over again. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I don't want to rain on their fun. They're having a good time, but wow, it was rough. I think that's gonna be my number one request from now on is no adjoining room. I I've never made that room request before, but when you have, I've never noticed it before, I guess, I don't think we've really had adjoining rooms very often. There's no soundproofing at all. With both of our doors shut, we could hear every word they said. I mean, every word. So I don't want to stay in an adjoining room. There's no privacy, no soundproofing. Definitely not something I want again. And I'm kind of curious, if you have stayed with a Boardwalk View DVC, did you have an adjoining room? Because we ran into our friend Spoonful of Sugar. I will put a link to their vlog. Be sure to check them out below and they were below us and a little over on the third floor and they also had an adjoining room so that's starting to make us wonder if boardwalk view dvc is always an adjoining room so if you know leave that in the comments please i'll be honest i'm the slowest packer in the world um and i don't enjoy it but i enjoy unpacking and doing laundry when we get back even less and at least it's faster though for some reason i don't know why unpacking is so much faster than packing i guess because i'm not going down a list but whew, here it goes it's pumpkin watch. Okay, I guess it's still 2018. We got one more day. Guess what? They're still there. They're gonna be there for a long time. I need to go out there and bury them in the leaves. Good morning. Happy New Year. It's officially 2019 now. And guess how late we stayed up last night? I'll give you a minute to guess. We went up to bed at 7.30. <laughs> I told you we were sleep deprived from Disney and man, I slept till six this morning. Um, I kind of woke up at five, but I just didn't feel good yet. So I just went back to sleep till six. Now I feel great. I apparently needed a lot of sleep. And so uh, we have a pretty relaxed day today. I am gonna run a couple of errands. I need to take the Osmo back to Best Buy. I'm hoping to return it at this point. I just don't have confidence in it. Um, I know we may just have bad luck, I, although I have seen some other reports of the same problem. Um, if you don't know, and I didn't mention in this video because I can't remember, it died on us at Disney. So I'm gonna take the Osmo Pocket back to Best Buy, hoping I can return it. If I can't, then I'll probably have to do like a warranty process or something, but um, I'm not sure. And the reason I'm not sure, they do have extended warranties because of Christmas, um, sorry, extended returns because of Christmas. However, they exclude some items and it's kind of fuzzy whether the Osmo falls in that category or not. So I'll find out when I go. And then I'm also gonna run to Bed Bath & Beyond I need a few things from there and I hate going there. Um, the store's really cramped to me, all of them, all the ones I've been to, and they smell perfumey, which if you guys know me, sometimes that gives me a migraine. So I hate going, but I'm to that point where I need several items and they're kind of the only store that carries the stuff that I, I need. And I think that's about it for today. Brian already took down the Christmas decorations outside, but all of our inside ones are still up. Um, we do that every year. We always take the outside down quickly. The inside we leave up for a while because we find January and February super depressing and gray and dull. We actually one year left our inside Christmas up till February, <laughs> um, like near Valentine's. We were like, okay, it's a new holiday, so we need to take it down. <laughs> this year, I don't think we'll leave it up that long, but we are probably gonna leave it up another couple of weeks or so, so don't be surprised if you see that in the vlog. And in other news, it's hot here. Um, not Disney hot, but kind of close and it's so soupy it definitely feels like disney it's gonna be in the 70s today and that is unseasonably warm for here um, not unheard of but warmer than usual and for this time of the year and along with that sorry that's my fridge making noise along with that came some ants 
So this is what we came home to, is a bunch of little sugar ants, that's what we always called them. Um, actually, there's another name I've heard them called that's not as polite, so I won't say it, but in any case, they're all over the place, and they're already attacking the terror, and so hopefully they will be gone in a couple of days. Um, terror doesn't work instantly because they take it back to their little house and it kills them, but hopefully they'll be gone soon because I don't like them crawling all over my kitchen. So I meant to ask you guys just a minute ago and I totally forgot, how long do you leave your Christmas decorations up? Just curious. Now the ants are really busy. They've like gone inside and made a little semicircle around the liquid. Yes, take it back to your home. Yep, this is happening. Better late than never. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I was slack and didn't vlog, but that's what I mentioned earlier for the weekly vlogs. This year, we're gonna mostly focus on the weekends or the days we have off or days that we travel or fill in the blank there. But um, I did do a bunch of batch cooking yesterday, so I should have filmed, but I was tired and I didn't, and I kind of had a headache. We've had this rainy weather and having to go back to work after having almost a week and a half off, which yeah, I know, cry, cry, but um, it makes it tough to go back when you have a while off. And then um, being out of town, I'm still behind on batch cooking, so I cooked um, broccoli, butternut squash, and um, green beans. And all I do is roast them in the oven, super simple. And I take frozen organic vegetables, so they're already ready to go, already chopped, and I take them straight from frozen. People have asked me that in the comments before. Straight from frozen, toss them in a little bit of olive oil and salt, and sometimes pepper, depending on what the vegetable is. And sometimes other seasonings, I, I mix it up sometimes. Sometimes I throw other things in with it too, like fresh onion or something like that. And then I cook it, roast it in the oven. Um, I have a convection oven, so I set it to 400 because it auto lowers to 375. But if I was using a traditional oven, I would do 375. For all the vegetables I mentioned, I use the same temperature and I kind of just keep an eye on them. I can't give you a time, but I just roast them until they're done. Uh, for broccoli, that means when they're just starting to brown or caramelize a little bit, but not too much. You know, I'm you know scorched. Um, same for the butternut squash, just starting to caramelize. And I do toss them around usually halfway through. Uh, the green beans take the least amount of time. I think I only do about 15 minutes on the green beans. And as long as they're in a single layer, they'll cook nice without having to toss them or anything. They just sort of roast and they're good. Um, so my freezer's filling up with veggies, which is great. And uh, this weekend, it's going to be, um, which will be in next week's vlog. Um, if you're a vegetarian, it'll be disappointing. Well, actually, Brian may be doing some cooking, but um, I'm going to be doing all the meat this weekend. I want to get the veggies in first. I like having tons of fresh veggies. Well, not fresh. They're from frozen, but you know what I mean. Ready to go. Um, but I'm going to be doing bison chili, um, assuming I can get the bison. Sometimes they have bison, sometimes they don't. I'm going to be doing a pulled pork, like Carolina style, which if you don't know what that means, it has vinegar in it. Um, but it's basically vinegar, barbecue sauce, pork shoulder, throw it in the crock pot. That's it. it that's the whole recipe. <laughs> and then I was also going to do Ripa Vieja again, which I've done before. You guys have seen me do that on the vlog. But so we also cooking this weekend. It's catch up time from being out of town, from the holidays. I did want to mention because I never got back to you guys on New Year's Day. I did run all my errands and I was able to return the Osmo. If you saw my other video that I put out about it dying, I also put a comment and pinned it at the top mentioning that I returned it because I sort of left it open-ended because I didn't know I didn't know if they'd take it back. Best Buy has this weird policy. Um, it says due to Christmas you could return it for an extended period through January 12th, but it also said except certain items and the Osmo, it was questionable to me whether it was considered one of those items, but thankfully it was not. They took it right back, no questions asked. Um, so anyway, end of that, it's kind of sad. Um, I enjoyed the camera, so that's why I'm sad. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't care, but I actually liked it. I may get another one at some point, but I'm gonna give them some time to work the kinks out and still to this day, never heard back from their support. Now I did hear back initially, they asked me to send them videos, not videos made with the Osmo, videos made with something else of the Osmo not working, which I did, like showing that it wouldn't turn on, showing that it wouldn't charge. Then they replied to me and said, sorry about that. We forwarded this to so-and-so and we'll get back to you. Never heard another thing. And that was on either the 28th or the 29th. Well, first I talked to them on Twitter, then they told me to email and then that. And so it's been going on since it died on the 27th. But the last time I heard from them was either the 28th or the 29th. It's now January 3rd. So to me, that's my bigger concern. I'm not concerned that it died. I'm concerned that I can't get warranty support when it fails. 
Um, so, and you know, if I'd been more persistent, maybe I would have, but I was on vacation and then I came home and it was either return it or keep hoping that they come through. And since my return window was gonna end January 12th, I opted for returning. Um, plus, I don't really want my warranty starting already, like since it's dead, I'd rather just start with a fresh one and have the warranty start at a later point in time. So we'll see down the road. Gonna give them time to flush this out because um, I have seen other reports of it online. I don't think it's common, but there's enough to see noise about it, you know, on forums and stuff. So I wanna wait, make sure they get the kinks out before I buy another one, but it does do some awesome stuff. You'll see when our uh, December, um, I hate that you have to wait that long, but when our December trip videos come out from Disney because I did some motion laps and some neat stuff that it does, which is the cool stuff that I miss. Um, so today's last day of this, I almost said vlogmas. It's gonna be hard to get out of that habit. I may have already said that this time, so if I did, sorry about that. But this is the last day of the weekly, the first weekly vlog. Um, if you're new to our channel, we do the weekly vlogs from Friday to Thursday. And the reason we do them that way is we tend to go out of town on Fridays. So that way, if we're going to the beach for the weekend, it's sort of all in one vlog instead of broken into two. So that's why we do it that way. It also gives me the weekend to edit. And then they come out on Monday at 2 p.m. And we're gonna, for now, stick to that schedule. Like I said, if we travel, it will actually not be a weekly vlog. It'll just be a travel vlog to the place that we go that week. So like Myrtle Beach or Bush Gardens or wherever uh, life may take us <laughs> for the weekend. But if we stay home, it'll be just a traditional weekly vlog, mostly focused on the weekend. Hope that makes sense. So I think that's gonna wrap up this week's weekly vlog because um, I am going to go plant myself in a bath. Um, I don't take a ton of baths, but it has been just so awful out. And if you're up north, I know you guys have worse weather, so I'm sorry for complaining. It is not cold. Well, it's the highest in the mid 50s. So if you're south, south, that's probably cold. If you're north, that's not cold. I don't consider that terribly cold for this time of the year. It's just that it's raining non-stop. It rained all day yesterday, it rained all day today, and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I think Saturday the sun will come out and it will be glorious. But because it's been so rainy, I've just been like, bleh. So I think a nice hot soak in the tub will feel great. So that's what I'm gonna do with my evening today and turn into a prune. Um, but I'll be back with you tomorrow for the beginning of week two for, um, I almost said Vlogmas again. I can't get away from Vlogmas. Um, but anyway, we'll be back for our second weekly vlog for 2019. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.